Does the word polyatomic scare you? It shouldn't. What I'm going to teach you today are four techniques to get better at polyatomics for first year chemistry. You might know one of these techniques, but I doubt you know them all. Now, there are lots of ways to learn polyatomics. I find that this method called the P41 method works the best. So what you're going to do on your periodic table is starting with boron, you're going to make a small T. Right underneath that T, you're going to snuggle with a four. So T, four, and then right next to it, those halogens are going to make a one. The T, all the elements in the T contain three oxygens in their common polyatomic. All the elements in the four, you got it, have four oxygens in their polyatomic. And then we get over to that I, they all contain three oxygens again. So three, four, three, super easy. And then we follow a very simple pattern to get the charge. Starting with boron, we go three, two, one in the T. There are a couple of different silicates, but one of them is SiO3 with a negative two charge, so we'll let it slide. In the four and the one, we repeat the pattern. Three with the phosphorus, two for sulfur's line, and then one for the halogens. So there's T4I, T3 oxygens, four, four oxygens, I3 oxygens, and then the pattern three, two, one, and then repeat again, three, two, one for the charges. Once you have your polyatomics, you need to be able to scale them up and down. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Notice that the charge is never going to change. So chlorate, ClO3, 1 minus, that 1 minus is always going to stay the same. So we can add an additional oxygen if we want to onto the stock models. Chlorate is ClO3, 1 minus, and we can add on an oxygen. It becomes ClO4, still 1 minus. That would be per chlorate. So the prefix per indicates one oxygen in addition to the stock model. We can take oxygens away. We can take one oxygen away. We can go from eight to eight. And that simply means that instead of having a stock number of oxygens, we have one less. So in the case of chlorate, it would be ClO2 minus. And, and we can take away two oxygens often. So we go from chlorate to chlorite to hypochlorite. So the prefix hypo is added on to the beginning. The suffix is still ite. And that means two less oxygens. Thio simply means that you're going to take out one of the oxygens of the polyatomic and replace it with a sulfur, typically written at the beginning. Now, since sulfur and oxygen have the same charge, negative two, the charge of the polyatomic, again, will not change. So take, for instance, sulfate. Sulfate is SO4, two minus. Thiosulfate would be S2O3, still two minus. So we took away one of the oxygens and replaced it with sulfur. Another common example is thiocyanate. Cyanate is CNO minus. Well, again, we can take that oxygen off and bring it to the front as a sulfur. SCN minus is thiocyanate. Are you still with me? Okay, there's one more thing we can do. You can add H plus ions on your polyatomic, and it will stay a polyatomic as long as you don't add so many H pluses that you soak up all of the charge. So take, for instance, carbonate. Carbonate is CO3 two minus. We can add one H plus to that and it becomes HCO3 minus. And we would call that hydrogen carbonate, still a polyatomic, or bicarbonate. So for instance, if you pick up your baking soda, it says sodium bicarbonate. Now bicarbonate doesn't mean two, that's a common mistake. It just means that the polyatomic has a hydrogen tacked on at the beginning of it. It's that simple. Now, sometimes you can add on more than one hydrogen. So phosphate, for instance, PO43 minus, you could have hydrogen phosphate, all right? Or you could add two hydrogens on, and that's typically when we would then say, monohydrogen phosphate or dihydrogen phosphate, meaning that we're adding on one hydrogen, HPO4 with a negative two charge, or two hydrogens, H2PO4 with a negative one charge. So really that's the four things you need to know about polyatomics. The T4I method tells you the number of oxygens and the charge of the base models. Then once you have your base models, you can change the number of oxygens and change the suffix and prefix appropriately. And then we can swap out oxygens for sulfurs using thio, and then we can use the prefix bi to add hydrogens onto the polyatomic. Hey listen, if you found anything about this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. I'm gonna start producing more videos like this to get the content you need out to you as quick as possible so you can be the best chemistry student you can be. Thanks for watching, have a great day.